Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at iOS 4.2 on the iPad. This episode specifically, we're going to take a look at multitasking and some of the other new features that are found in iOS 4.2. As with the previous update of iOS 4 for the iPhone, the iPad now supports multitasking. To activate multitasking, double tap the menu button at the bottom of the iPad screen. You can swipe through the multitasking menu at the bottom to see all the different apps that are currently open and in memory. If you swipe all the way to the left, it will reveal some player controls as well as a few extra features. One of them, as we saw on the iPhone before, is the orientation lock. When you click on it and then move the iPad side to side, it won't actually switch orientation on you. The player control screen also features quick access to the volume control and brightness, so you don't actually have to dig into the settings. To close a program that's located on the multitasking menu and take it out of memory, hold your finger down on the application that you want to remove until all of the icons at the bottom shake. A red bar will appear in the top corner of the applications. Click on that red bar on the applications you want to remove. You can remove as many of these from memory as you like. Press the menu button at the bottom of the screen to exit the multitasking menu. Again, as on the previous update of iOS 4 for the iPhone, the iPad now supports folders. To create a folder, hold your finger down on an item until all the icons on the screen start to shake. Then to create the folder, drag one icon onto another. These two items will then appear inside a new folder. The iPad will automatically choose a name for this folder based on the type of applications you're putting inside. If it's not what you want the folder to be called, you can actually tap on the name and then use the keyboard to change what the name is. Then when you're done, you can press the menu button at the bottom of the screen and then go back out to the main menu. There are a lot of other new features on the iPad with the iOS 4.2 update, some of which you can't really see because they're hidden deep inside the iPad's operating system, but there are a couple you can actually touch and play with, including AirPlay, AirPrint, and Find My iPhone. We'll show you how to use these in upcoming episodes of this series. Don't forget to check out the show notes for this and the other parts of the series at Butterscotch.com, and don't forget to check out the other episodes in this series at Butterscotch.com.